not do it. Right? But I know that this is just the beginning of a war that we have with these people. That's right. You tried it with Manning's Beach. And but I have a message for Butch Stewart too. Tell him that we are not afraid to go on Dover Beach and tell him where his chair should be. There is no way the laws won't change in Barbados so that we can have the access to the beach, period. Because this is not Jamaica. They have privatized so many beaches in Jamaica and the poor people cannot go on the beaches in Jamaica. As a matter of fact, there isn't a beach I know in Jamaica that you don't have to pay to go on, even if it's public. So they I and the shark put some fences outside in the sea, in Jamaica, in the sea, so that the Jamaicans can't be near Sanders property. This is a message to Bert Stewart. This is a message to, to Doyle. This is a message to all the Doyles in Barbados and the Caribbean. Because we cannot forget our, our Caribbean family that, that going to win to have their property. He has met the bomber, the man who will never give in, the man who will fight him to find that has no respect for his money, his property, or anything that so. And that that law has no justice in it. I do not respect laws that don't have justice. That don't have no. It's like Martin Luther King respecting that you that that he can't march, or, or that black people can't take the bus, or that Man Mandela and they had to go passes in South Africa. This is not South Africa. This is Barbados. This is a democratic country. And we have all public beaches. And I will not tolerate Doyle deciding which part of this beach is us and which part is this. We will walk down that beach right. now. That's right, that's right. Yes. 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 I am going to take out this guitar and I'm going to sing Jack, Jack yes. that beach yes. is mine. Yes. Yes. Thank you for coming, brother. Can I just want to ask you a question quick? Yes. You think 30 years, maybe 30 years after you pen and, and sign Jack, that like, I've come to this. No, game. I never think that I will have to, to deal with this situation again. <laughs> I'll tell you all what happened many years ago. Jack there, I called him and I said to him, Jack, I see a statement in the paper that you was talking about that Barbados should keep quiet because the owners of the beach properties have the right to bring the property to the high water mark. He said, but Gabby, not me, it's the law. I said, but Jack, you really think that law? Yeah, I said at the time, I said, Jack, I mean in Jack there. You are quoted here in the newspaper as saying that the Barbados should keep quiet because the property owners have the right to bring their property down to the high water mark. He said, but not me, it's the law. I said, but Jack, that law don't have no justice. And I am not going to respect that law. So he said to me, I hope you got a lot of money because I hear your friend to write a song. I said, yes, I will write that song. But when I write this song, Jack, you will never be the same again in this country. And he told me, no song can do me anything, Gabby. I hope you got a lot of money, you and your friend Eddie Grant, because you know, I'll be looking to, to, to get my rights out of the winner. I said, Jack, there are no rights for you in this, you know. All wrongs, because you are dealing with the people of Barbados. The only thing we can look around and say that belong to us is the beach. That we can truly say is ours. The properties could be all on. But see this beach? This is sacred ground. This is where our great grandparents fought for. This is where they took us off the plantations and gave us a no, no, go down there because that, that's not, that's, that don't worth nothing. And we made it something. As soon as the service, we made it something, they come back to, to, to claim it or reclaim it. I said, Jack, retrench those statements. Disassociate yourself. You tell me, I'm not doing that. I said, well, I'm bringing this song. I'm bringing anything you feel like. When that song hit, Jack there was a man weighing 332 pounds and in less than six weeks he was down to 200 pounds why <laughs> could not eat could not sleep could not answer his phone because it was constantly messages anti Jack right and then the song hit make it worse right I'm warning Dole don't let me have to write the song don't let me have to write the song because it would make Jack look like a Sunday school picnic 
I don't want to do that. But we are going to walk down that beach. I am going to take my guitar. Youngster, hold this thing for me. Because I believe I have a sing lustily. And we will all sing. Yes. We can sing lustily. All right then. Yes, please. Oh yes, the brother has said something very important. This represents our sovereignty. And this is the praise of our brothers. This is what people come here to see. We don't mind sharing. As a matter of fact, we love to share our business with the visitors. But we want people like Doy to know that never again he must attempt to privatize or trade in any form or fashion to decide what part of this beach is his. No part of this beach is yours, Doy. None. And you are have to, you are, you are on, in the unfortunate position having to deal with me. If the prime ministers that come past and present present for you, or ministers, not me. If any of our administrators present for you, not me. If any of your real estate people present for you, not me. I am a down gorgon. I am a, 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 a what you call a, a gorilla. And a Calypsonian, an artist, and a homeboy. And when I decide that I am get, get in a cause for something, it has never failed. So let us take our walk down this beach. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go.